Today's feel good food is a grilled paneer skewers, tikka style, with a spicy curried butternut squash dip. And we've been lucky enough to have been joined by Electra from Electra Loves. Hello. Now, this dish is perfect barbecue food, but it's also vegetarian, which is perfect for you. Because yes. you're a vegetarian? I am veggie, yes. For how long? Since I was six. So Since you were wow. six? Yeah. So, hopefully, this is a new idea you can give a go. Yes. Very, very simple. We'll start off with butternut squash. Jamie, you're going to be in charge of that. <coughs> you can just peel and chunk that up into yep. sort of thumb-sized pieces. We're going to roast the squash off for our dip, along with red onion. Mm -hmm. Electra, if you can do that. So just yep. basically quarter it. So peel okay. it and quarter. And I'm going to crush up the clove of garlic. Do you say quarter? Yeah, so peel it and then quarter. Would you say these are the kind of ingredients you use often? Um, I like I use red onion a lot, and I like butternut squash, but more wintry. I wouldn't eat, thought of using it in the summer. It's a perfect dip. Served cold, often squash would be served warm, yeah. roasted kind of thing, but we're going to serve it cold in the summer as, as a dip to our barbecue grilled skewers. And all these bits can go into a roasting tray. So, Electra, if you can throw our onion, garlic, and all of Jamie's cut-up squash yeah. into the tray. I've got a generous glug of olive oil into and onto the tray. But you don't just run a YouTube channel, do you? No, I am a fashion stylist. Fantastic. Um, I'm always making people look very glamorous, is what I do. Well, I'm glad you come on this show, <laughs> because um, you really need some help. Well, <laughs> I'm wearing a very fetching outfit today. You don't have to be polite. <laughs> Clothes aside, have you ever styled food before? Um, no, I haven't, actually. I feel like there's a certain art. I think a lot of the time it's not real when you see it in like magazines and things. Though. We try and keep it as real as possible, but there are the occasional sheets. You're yeah. absolutely right. So <laughs> I'm sure there is. You can get involved in some of those today. We've also got loads of spices. Mm -hmm. So if you can put a pinch of each of these, we've got chilli, cumin seeds, ground coriander, and garam masala. I feel like I've just started liking cumin seeds. They're Especially really nice. toasted, which obviously by the time we've roasted this in the oven, you get that toasted cumin flavour. Yeah. And I've also just got better with spice. I used to be terrible. Like spice in terms of chili or in terms hot, of chili hot. So spicy. Yeah, kind spicy of. food. So like I quite like curry spices. But of course you can make it as hot as you want. And Jamie, you can always put a little bit more chili on yours at the end. <laughs> okay, if you, Jamie, if you can put that into an oven, yep. it's an oven at 200 degrees Celsius, and that needs about 20, 25 minutes <laughs> until they're nice and soft, the onions and the squash together. And then we can start to look at our yogurt. So we want half of that yogurt into the bowl, and we're going to make basically a marinade for our paneer cheese. Okay, think of it like a uh, tikka marinade that you'd put on chicken, you know, like tandoori chicken. <laughs> oh, you're right there. <laughs> and then all of the rest of these spices and a little bit of the chili. Okay. <laughs> so are you any good at cooking? Um. I would, I would like to say yes, but probably others will tell you I'm not brilliant. You have just dropped a bowl of yogurt. I do, <laughs> I know. I like tofu, I cook a lot with tofu, because I kind of like quite simple, plain flavours. Well, what's great about tofu is you can put it in so many different things, and it just yeah. takes on the flavour around it. Mm -hmm. we, we did a, which one was it, miso soup yeah. with tofu, which is a brilliant kind of very healthy, very lean yes. soup. I love miso. But tofu kind of really sort of bulks it out and gives you all the protein you need. This is the protein in this dish, the paneer. Uh -huh. So Jamie, can you just cut that in half lengthways and then in quarters, so basically eight yep. pieces out of that. And Electra, if you can just yeah. mix up our yoghurt dressing. Yeah. So is paneer something you've eaten or cooked with before? I've eaten paneer in sort of Indian curries and things, mm -hmm. but I've never cooked it in this way. This, we're going to treat in a similar way, so it's similar to flavours and spices, but as you say, for a barbecue, it's slightly yeah. different. You'd often see something like halloumi cheese yeah, on a barbecue. Yeah, I have halloumi on the barbecue. So there we go. This behaves in a very similar way, yeah. the fact that it doesn't melt over high heat. Mm -hmm but we're going to add the Indian spices, so best of both worlds. Yep. Mix it in here and just be careful that it doesn't break up. Mm -hmm. So that's all of our spices, salt, pepper and the paneer. Mix that all together and then best if you can leave this to marinate for a good couple of hours. In the fridge or overnight is even better, but for now we're going to race ahead and skewer them with some cherry tomatoes. Because, Jamie, as you say, it's raw, yeah. it doesn't need cooking, it only needs sort of warming through and to char the yoghurt. We're also going to put cherry tomatoes on, which likewise don't need much cooking. So if you can alternate, Electra, yeah. cherry tomato, piece of paneer. I wouldn't have thought to cook yoghurt. You do it with tikka. Yoghurt. You do see it with tikka, but I think it's okay. possibly the only thing that I've seen it cooked with. Well, it just you, uh, tandoori tikka marinades in general. So we've done like a tandoori salmon recipe before, that kind of thing. But you're right, it's an unusual ingredient to, to cook. cook. Yeah. yeah. So for now, we'll just do a couple of these so we get the idea. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. And Jamie, there's a grill tray behind us. There is. Obviously, we're inside, so we can't do it on a barbecue, but a really hot barbecue is perfect for this. We're going to demonstrate it on our grill tray. We would have been outside if the weather was better. It's pretty cold today. It is pretty cold. <laughs> <laughs> Considering it's supposed to be summer, it's <laughs> awful. We can have the barbecue inside though. Sorry. We can have the barbecue inside. Let's <laughs> do one more. Yes. Do you find barbecues really difficult? Because barbecues are usually about the meat, aren't they? No, I think they can be really fun. You always get left out with the kind of, I don't know, the easy option, but it's always nice when someone makes something like yeah. this. These skewers would be awesome. 
have it. You've got to go the extra effort because it does need a little bit more thinking about. Yeah, you've got to be a little bit more creative. You've got to be I guess. more inventive, especially if barbecues and meat is your normal. Yes. But actually, there's so many things you can do. There are so many vegetables out there you can do really exciting things with. I love like roasted any sort of roasted vegetables. To be honest, on yes. a barbecue, like aubergines and courgettes and peppers. And, and you could do things that you would normally associate with classic dishes, but just put a vegetarian slant on. Like we've done the red lentil risotto. Mm -hmm. So you probably love risotto, yeah. but to do it with red lentils, really nutritious, high in protein but it's just one change up that makes it a complete different dish. Yeah. Right, these are gonna go under a hot grill, Jamie, yeah. for about five or six minutes, we'll turn them halfway through. And Jamie, while you're there, can you also grab out our butternut squash, which is now roasted, and we can begin to blitz up with the rest of the flavors. A few other flavors, some fresh coriander, the juice of a lime, and the rest of our yogurt. All of that can go into a blender. It just needs processing down to a puree. Hot tray, but if you can scoop some of that into there. Yogurt's gonna go in there as well fresh coriander and then the whole thing gets blended up and because that squash is warm and soft and sweetened it becomes an amazing dip there we go I'll get these out if it doesn't completely blend first time a little bit of warm water just helps to loosen up so you get the right consistency those skewers are looking mm. awesome obviously this makes loads of dip we're gonna serve it warm which is brilliant but also this is just as good cold there we go some of those skewers which will be yep. hot Finish it with a wedge of lime, but otherwise it's our grilled paneer skewers, tikka style with butternut squash dip. All you have to do is taste it. Just careful, the skewers will still be quite hot. Mm -hmm. Knowing me, I'm very clumsy. I will end up with it everywhere. You're a clumsy cook as well. Yeah, pretty clumsy. There we go. Right, have a taste. Mmm, okay. it's nice with the squash. There's so many interesting things you can do with squash. We did like a, a centerpiece dish, a family favourite. Like think like a beef Wellington. Mm -hmm. you take out the beef and put in roasted squash with a filling of um, mozzarella and sweet corn and breadcrumbs. That was a really kind of interesting variation on squash and I think this one is, is the same again, something a bit different. Yeah, it sounds really good. I think this is a really easy thing to do for before a barbecue. You don't really have to think much, I mean, little ingredients and quite quick. And you can skew them up way ahead of time and take them yeah. with you yeah. to the barbecue as a contribution yep. and or have them ready for, for guests who are coming to you. Yeah. The only thing to really remember is the combination of spices in the dip and the yoghurt, but if you want all the details then head to sortedfood.com and you can find the recipe there. And Electra, thank you very much for coming down to cook with us. Thank you for having me, it was very yum. Good. <laughs> if you want more feel good food recipes, make sure you're subscribed to the Body Talk channel. This is an awesome Mexican bean dish. It's low carb, high protein, and vegetarian. So it's everything we want in a dish. We're going to cook off our beans in a tomato sauce with pepper, onion, chili, and some paprika. Wait, if you put your nose in there now, can I smell? Wow. 